studio right now. I'm pretty excited. Uh, he is uh, another win. He's racked up another win. Ryan Quinn, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. It was me. a yeah. tight one with, uh, with the Paul McCartney and Wings song. Maybe oh, yeah. Me. It's a tough song. Very tough song. And you guys go battling back and forth. To me, it was clear you were the uh, the winner there. But it was no, I appreciate that. And there was Thanks. a save, too, right? Is that how? Uh, it was. Yeah, it was the first, uh, the, battle, the first battle that aired, and Katie, my partner, got saved by Blake. So how do, how is it dealing with uh, you say your your partner and they're on your team how how do you uh, how, how do you feel about dealing with the, with the people everybody's really nice or are they competitive what what's it like you know I didn't hear of anybody being overly competitive like you have to have that little bit of a competitive edge but I mean yeah. the goal really is to make it the best sounding duet possible so mm -hmm. that one of you gets stolen is the goal yeah. you know because there's going to be a winner but there doesn't have to be a loser yeah so if you make it you know as as good as as you possibly can, and we both love Paul McCartney, and he's one of the biggest influences, yeah. along with Stevie Wonder and all of them. Um, we just wanted to make it, you know, something memorable. And you did. Thanks. Uh, so what's next? What happens next? Next are the knockout rounds. So they're going to finish out airing the battle rounds, and then the knockout rounds, you're still going against somebody on your own team, but instead of it being a duet, you each kind of sing like an abridged version of a song in its entirety. Okay. Yeah. And then... Adam will decide which one moves on and which one does not. And how do they select the songs for you? I mean, at this point, they're picking the songs for you? Um, for the most part. Yeah. Like, there's... You get some say, but it's not like you, like, handpick, like, a random song. And they right, right. It, you know? They give you a few choices. Yeah. But you can work with them. Yeah. Yeah, and I've been super, super happy with my song choices so far. Um, can't find my way home, and maybe I'm a Maze or two of my favorite songs. Yeah, yeah, you've that been I really play in my gigs. Either. Yeah, you know, so. And then, how does it? Uh, I mean, uh, one of the things that I, I've heard that it, it can, they, uh, if you don't get the perfect song, that's a real challenge. You have to try to make that song into the perfect song, mm -hmm. and that becomes a challenge, right? Absolutely, you have to make it your own. You have to make it the perfect right. song, which, you know, is way easier said than done. Yeah. But if you can make it your own, and you know, show everyone that you changed it in a way that. You know, exemplifies you. Right, right. It will probably shine through. All right, Andrew. So, you know, obviously you say you had some choice in uh, the two songs, the first two songs you sang on the show. Where do you go from here? You say those are your favorite songs. You know, how do you continue to kind of uh, keep, I mean, you know, you're doing such an amazing job now, <laughs> I hate to even ask, but how do you keep, you know, the momentum going? How do you keep it the fresh, uh, the sound fresh? Well, you... You don't get to just, like I said, you, you can't just like handpick your favorite songs and, and do them. I've just been very fortunate. Been for, okay, but right. um, you do get to work with the producers on the show and with song selection. So it's not like they totally throw you under the bus, you know. But um, sometimes some people got songs that they weren't super, super proud of or whatever, but they just made them their own and made it work. So that's what you got to do. If you don't get your favorite song, you just got to go with it. And how difficult is it to make the song your own when you're singing it with somebody else? Because obviously you have to keep it within their range as well, right? True, true. Um, that's a really good point. I guess Katie and I um, were very fortunate and just both loved the song and like worked really well together in planning, you know, stayed up late nights and just uh, figured out alternate melodies. And there are several rehearsals with the bands. So like, you have a lot of time to figure it out. But I mean, making any song your own, I suppose, especially in such like a high-pressure situation, is pretty yeah. really difficult. And uh, the last time you were on, we uh, we kind of di we didn't get into this, but um, I wanted to get into it more um, about the fact that you didn't uh, do any music in school, and, <laughs> yeah. and oftentimes, most times, you see somebody, well, you know, I uh, I loved music in school, and I uh, I was in the band, I was in the choir, and. You know, all counting this weekend, junior high, all counting going in this weekend, Christine, uh, right? Yeah, this and weekend. it's so funny because that's what my daughter said. She goes, see, see. See, you don't need music. <laughs> you don't need Thanks. music lessons. So you don't, uh, you didn't do any of that, though. No, not not in school. I did, um, like, in private piano lessons on my own. Yeah. Um, my dad's a drummer, so he, he showed me drum stuff. Yeah. Um, but I was never in, like, band or orchestra or even choir. So you never, le did you learn to read music? I did. Okay, you, I, do, you, I learned how to read music, yep, yep with piano lessons. Um, Got it, okay. A lot of the time, he would just, my piano teacher would, like, you know, show me, and I'd try to read along, and then I'd just be like, oh, this is really hard, so I'd just memorize it and pretend right. like I was reading it. Right, But um, Just look up every Okay, we don't, need to, yeah. we don't need to hear I that pretend, part of it. I pretend all morning long on this program, and just uh, people buy it. There you go, yeah. yeah. So you prefer, Run with it. So you prefer to learn by ear. It's easier for you to learn... It's easier for me to learn by ear. Yeah, it's easier. Right. I, I wish I was better at sight reading music, because... 
you put something in front of you, you can read it. It's incredible. But yeah, I like, I, I but like really, it. really amazing what you're doing on this uh, on this program. Thank uh, you so much. And so again, what comes next? Do you know when you'll be on? Do they get to do? You, I mean, nope. You have no I, idea. I don't know how much longer the battles are airing for or anything like that. Um, I just know that after all the battles are done is when the knockout rounds begin. And this is all live when you do these things, or is this recorded? The things that, so, oh, like, so I was not just there doing the battle round. Right, that, right. that is so, recorded. So the blinds, the battles, and the knockouts are all pre-recorded. Got Can't it. say exactly when, but it's, it wasn't, you know. This is a hard thing. position to be, uh, because you ultimately know what happens next. Ultimately, I do. But you yeah. can't say anything. Correct. Yeah. And you have a good poker face, even though you're a really nice person. Oh, Did thanks. we get you drinking this morning? <laughs> and get you some information on it? Well, if it was tomorrow, it'd be funny. <laughs> yeah. um, it's beer day tomorrow. Yeah, it's June beer day tomorrow. Yeah. So, uh, that's a good point, St. Patrick's Day. Um, hey. Hold on, Cole. I want to ask Jeff to uh, quickly, uh, this isn't about you, It's uh, he's waiting on the line. Jeff, do you want to take a pic on that photo? Oh, I'd love to. Go, go ahead. Um, I'm, I'm going with your Psychiatric. Is it at the Utica Psychiatric Center? The answer to that is great guess, Thank you. but it's not at Right. Thanks, Joe. Good try. I didn't want to have, to have him wait any longer. We have a contest going. There's a photo. Yeah. I'll show it to you in a second. You might know the answer. No, probably not. Probably. Uh, it's a classic <laughs> photo. It's a Utica photo. And it's of somewhere around here. Utica region photo. Actually, that's the picture. Don't say what it is if you know what it is. I don't think but that is really a photo from somewhere around here. Uh, it's good for comments tickets. You get comments tickets. Okay, so you don't know when you're going to be on. Nope. But you know that round is hitting. Oh, At yeah. what point does it go live? At what point do you then move into real time? If you get through the knockout rounds. Okay, which is the next round. Which is the next round to air. Yeah. Okay. So after the battles, after the duets are done, knockouts air. If you get through knockouts and you go to the top 20, which is called the live playoffs, Got it. Okay. it's actually live. <laughs> Sometime now, some months. are calling you a bit of a favorite. Cool. <laughs> at least uh, at least on Adam's team, right? Andrew is saying yeah, that uh, Adam said he was a front runner. You're the front runner. That's pretty good. I miss that. Be. All yeah. right. Neat. Yeah. Okay. We so, don't miss anything. Yeah, no, <laughs> fine tooth, uh, fine tooth comb. So, no, we had a listener that wanted to know, do you also write your own music? Do you have some originals you've been working on? I do. I have original material. Um, I am, like... Super, uh, I've, I've worked so hard on my singing ability and everything, and I'm like pretty confident in my singing, but songwriting, it's like such a vulnerable thing. Yeah. And I'm still, you know, I'm still like an uber perfectionist with everything, but I do have some, um, like on my Reverb Nation page and Got it. SoundCloud right. and stuff. Check it all out. Okay, you don't know when you're going to be on, but it'll be on NBC, and it's the next round. We're really excited for you, rooting for you as well, so good luck, man. Thank you so much for having nice me. Job.